All right, so today we are building on the previous video. So the previous video, I talked about the many off-label benefits of testosterone, particularly in the, in the sense that testosterone replacement is beneficial for people who have a compromised metabolic health or people who have compromised metabolic health, such as those with fatty liver disease, insulin resistance, high visceral adiposity, diabetes, things that fall within that scope. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, today I'm going to talk about how thyroid hormones can be beneficial for those who also have compromised metabolic health. There are numerous mechanisms how thyroid hormone can have a role in the development or even as a possible supplemental treatment for these various metabolic conditions. So the first one I'll talk about is the role of thyroid hormone with fatty liver disease. In states of insulin resistance, there's this process called de novo lipogenesis and its activity kind of gets upregulated. So de novo lipogenesis is essentially the process in which carbohydrates are converted into fat. Meanwhile, insulin resistance itself suppresses lipolysis, which is the breakdown of fat. So you can kind of see how this is a twofold combo that leads to the accumulation of fat within the liver itself. Hypothyroidism also suppresses LDLR activity. Well, LDLR are the receptors within the liver that dispose of LDLs. So that's another third way mechanism that can contribute furthermore to fatty liver disease. Another thing we know is that even in mildly hypothyroid patients, and this is what the literature has told us, in mildly hypothyroid patients, insulin production from the pancreatic beta cells can actually be reduced as well. So you now have less insulin to break down glucose. And since there's less insulin being produced by the pancreatic beta cells, that means there's less insulin breaking down carbohydrates, which means you now have more carbohydrates available to participate in de novo lipogenesis. And thus it's this endless cycle. And as I said just a moment ago, even mildly hypothyroid patients can have a reduced production of insulin. So with the introduction of thyroid replacement therapy, we can theoretically get their insulin production back to a normal level. Also, I mentioned that there's LDLR receptor activity gets downregulated in hypothyroid patients. So theoretically, we could reverse that and dispose of lipids that way. And lastly, there's also thyroid hormone receptors within the liver itself. And many of these receptors are capable of increasing fatty acid oxidation. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, there's an accumulation of fat as well as triglycerides within the liver. By upregulating these hormone receptors within the liver, we can increase the breakdown of these fats and triglycerides.